Good afternoon and welcome to Van Nuys Tanker Base. My name is Pat Springle, Battalion Chief of Air Operations for Los Angeles County Fire Department. It's my opportunity today to introduce you to what we do over here on the northeast side of Van Nuys Airport. Uh, we very much appreciate the relationship of Van Nuys Airport and uh, World Airports as we from LA County try to protect the citizens in the property of Los Angeles County and the surrounding areas with wildland fire. Today we're going to have the opportunity to introduce you to a couple tools that we use, a couple aircraft uh, called the uh, CL-415 Super Scoopers from Quebec. Um, our partners in Canada come out to visit us each year and it's the 27th year of operation for us uh, here at Van Nuys Airport tell you a little bit of history of uh, where we've come with the Super Scoopers. The uh, Super Scooper idea started uh, back in 1994. 1994 was our first year of operation with the Super Scoopers. It followed a uh, rough year wildland wise for us in 1993. From that, Los Angeles County Fire Department figured that we needed to augment our fleet of aircraft at LA County and thus we reached out to Canada and the government of Quebec for these aircraft here, the uh, CL-415. This aircraft, these aircraft are a tremendous tool for us when we battle wildland fire. And we hope today to take the next few minutes to show you that, to show you their operation, to talk a little bit about the history of uh, where we came from and talk about how we coordinate these aircraft in the wildland. This year, we've used these aircraft multiple times already since September 1st. Namely on some of those fires have been uh, the Bobcat incident that they're fighting up in Angeles National Forest. We used them uh, a couple days ago on the Martindale incident up in uh, Bouquet Canyon. We've used them in uh, Topanga. And the nice thing about these aircraft is they are extremely fast and we can get quick water to the fire, which hopefully we can keep those fires small and contained. So it's a phenomenal aircraft for us and a phenomenal tool that uh, is used in um, uh, fighting of our wildland fires. Typically you see the airplanes out there, they're carrying the pink FOS check that you see. This aircraft is unique in that it carries water. And interestingly enough, we treat this aircraft very similar to the helicopters. In fact, we consider them uh, essentially brothers in that we work them uh, in the same methodology. So a couple of the great advantages of this aircraft, as Chief Springle had said previously, was the speed. When the aircraft gets to the fire rapidly, that means we can get water on the fire quickly and, um, and, and buy precious time. The second thing is they carry a great deal of water. 
And as I mentioned before about how we utilize them similar to a helicopter, we typically place them in a direct attack mode, which basically means they drop water directly on the fire, and they bring lots of water uh, to the fire as well. We have pre-staged or pre-planned water sources throughout our, our county because it's so very large, and that speed of the aircraft really allows them to come in, make that drop, get back over to the water source, pick up the water, and then get back to the fire very rapidly. The other thing that's very um, necessary for us is that they're one of the few aircraft that actually can dip water or take water out of the ocean, the salt water. We can't do that with the helicopters because of how damaging it is to them. That's extremely important in areas like Malibu as well as uh, Catalina Island, which is also uh, in LA County as well. When we run these together with the helicopter, we have kind of what I refer to as that one-two punch. We typically put the helicopters up close to the crews that are working on the ground. We keep the fire down so that they can do their work. We might move a little bit ahead, but we generally use the Quebecs much further up on the fire where the fire is very large, a lot of fire intensity, almost too much for the helicopters. They bring in that large uh, volume of water and we work them up well ahead of the crews, which keeps the fire behavior hopefully in check and then uh, as we progress up the fire line, it's almost like walking into that nice calm room where they can do their job. So we use those together in a very tactical way. We use it in a very methodical way. And we like to think that we have a great combination here of using helicopters as well as the two aircraft that you see here. Team working uh, on the CL415 as a captain. So uh, this aircraft is made by Canada. Got a wingspan of 93 feet for a length of 65 feet. That made it very unstable aircraft, easy to maneuver. When we take off with this aircraft, we got 47 pounds of weight. That weight is composed of a thousand six hundred gallons that we scoop uh, off the water. We do this by put this probe down and there's no pump, nothing. The water just run through a channel to up the tank. And if the tanks come too much uh, full, there's an overflow there to release the uh, excess of water on the plane. Uh, we fly about 220 miles per hour to an accident, scoop at 100, it takes uh, 10 seconds to fill it up. Um, that's it pretty much. <laughs> It amazes a lot of people uh, seeing how 
small these tanks uh, look. Um, if you look at the entire aircraft and the two tanks, uh, one can say uh, it's uh, it's too small for the size of this aircraft. But it actually carries uh, thirteen thousand five hundred water uh, gallon, um, pounds of water. I'm sorry, so that's uh, more than thirteen thousand pound of water in there. So that's uh, all the equipment it takes to carry this water in the air and maintain it uh, for um, as long as four, four hours if we uh, use the proper amount of fuel. And uh, yeah, that's all, uh, that's all about it. And then underneath the seats, you can see the foam that we can uh, mix with, uh, we can mix this foam with water and uh, to, make, to make the drops more efficient over the fires. So that's the way, uh, basically, that's the way uh, we carry all the things in there. So maybe you would like to go to the front now? Yeah. So come on into the cockpit there. And um, I'm gonna sit here for you to be able to see exactly what's going on in there. So it's uh, basically, it's a, um, the same operation that a re regular aircraft, but, um, plus, and all this uh, servo here that controls it, it's kind of a computer that controls uh, the drops of the water. So th since we have uh, four different doors, we can um, drop the water door by door or as a salvo drop. Or uh, it depends on the, uh, the air attack officer or the, uh, the incident uh, commander down there who uh, wants us to drop all the water at once or to spread the load. Um, evenly. So we have this little trigger here which says water drop and this is actually the, the, uh, the trigger that we have to push on to drop the water and then it's, our, it's all with the, um, the experience and the, uh, the way uh, we've, we've made that a lot of times before then we know when to drop the water and in regards in the, depends on the winds, it depends on the speed of the aircraft, depends on the hills and the, uh, lots of things there. So that's uh, the most important thing to uh, I could say about uh, the situation of these aircraft here in Van Nuys uh, with the county is uh, it's a strategic point from where we can go all the way to uh, I would say um, either to Malibu we, we, we can be in Malibu here uh, from here to Malibu in about uh, five minutes we can be all the way to our uh, Quail Lake which is the uh, um, northwestern tip of the county uh, within I would say 10 minutes for the most and uh, Palmdale Reservoir and the Palmdale area w would be exactly 10 minutes as well and uh, all the way to Catalina in less than 25 minutes so that's uh, really important for uh, the operations here to be able to get through the th any incident to get there fast and uh, with a good uh, good pace to make sure that we stop the fire before it builds up, before the winds uh, kicked up and the uh, make sure the, the fire go goes too fast for uh, the entire uh, the entire um, entire group of firefighters. How many people does it take to operate? Uh, we have uh, usually we're two pilots in there, uh, and we need to be for the, the least is two pilots, and then uh, we might have a third pilot on the jump seat uh, in the middle of the two pilots to help out for anything like um, operations, communications, and so on. So. How, how small of a water source can you pick up on? Yeah, we. Uh, Talking about the reservoirs, uh, all the uh, the smallest reservoir we can take uh, water out of is uh, Santa Fe Dam uh, Reservoir, which is uh, pretty much the smallest one in the county. The largest one is the uh, uh, beside of the ocean. Uh, the uh, smallest, uh, the, the, the largest one would be the Castaic Lake, which is the uh, a very large reservoir for us. And then we can go, we can scoop out of the sea any anywhere in between. I would say uh, county line towards. Uh, uh, the protected, the sheltered uh, waters of uh, the, uh, the harbor, uh, San Pedro or uh, Long Beach Harbor. And then uh, this is uh, our playground, more or less, to take uh, water out of. How long does it take for the, the spill uh, when, you, when you touch water for the first time? Once on the water, it makes uh, a complete uh, load. It takes a complete load within 12 seconds, uh, more or less. That, uh, as I told the before, that's a 13,500 pound of water in 
12th position second, second which is uh, great for us and uh, from the uh, from the ground up i mean from van ice we uh, usually put uh, water already in the tanks out of fire hydrant so when we take off we're already loaded with the water so uh, the first load of water can be uh, in Malibu, as uh, say five to six minutes, and this is quite important because uh, anywhere onto the hills or anywhere anywhere along the, the canyons, we can drop quite fast the first load of drop, the first uh, drops. Sorry for. <laughs> <laughs>